All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Time to finish Slag off once and for all. Welcome aboard, me honey. And of course, he there he is. I was just about to cut your dear Sally like a Marcasian. Oh, how dare you try to involve Tawin in last this? Chance, Slag. Just hand over Tawin and the star. That's right, Ratchet. Reason with a man whose head he once took. He might be wanting to return the favor. <laughs> Ready the locker, oh my Davey. god, Davy Jones Slag's locker? One more for well, it's you who's going to face Davy Jones locker in a minute, Slag. You're the one who stitched me up, you little shit. It is time for me to finally give you your well-deserved just desserts. Right, so Predator launches shot. Now, now the most meth powerful method of shots is to use the nano swarmers. But honestly, to be fairly honest, I think the alpha cannon also does good shots. If it, if I could do it to the if I do it to the middle of him, it actually is an effective shot. So at least I do pretty good with that. Oh shit! Here we go. Here comes the here comes the here comes the unlikely lad. Whoa, what do these green things do? Well, we're just about to... I'm about to, uh, well, to be fairly honest, I'm about to find out. Right about. Oh, there's Tailwind. Let's free her and move on. Ooh, apparently nearby any, uh, any security devices, it deactivates them. Any pirate deact if you go to get these green things, which are pirated. Oh, and you gotta be kidding me, it's a tartan. Get out of my way, pirate. You may be no xenomorphs who are cheap in aliens, colonial marines, but you still put up a more, of a more than a worthy fight for me. At least, at least you guys fight like real men and not like those sissy aliens who use cheap shots. Oh, here we go again. There's a spot of irony in all this madness. For once, it's you who's trying to steal from me. After all, it ain't your fulcrum star. Well, it isn't. It's, it's not yours, neither. Uh-oh. Now, hit. Now, this guy actually does this in two sequences. This one is a lot more easier than the first. Now, in the first one, it's quite easy to actually dodge the shot. And in this one, you can only use one of those green things to disrupt him. I think they're like EMP shots. And of course, he gets spirit salts, which also is pretty handy if you want to rack up any, 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 uh, any experience points that you would want to get. Ooh, got. There's one thing. There's one of them there. Let's get rid of it. There we go. Now I can use this. Give it up, you slacker. Slagger bond. There we go. I've got you in the in the in the ghoulies now won't be able to go through that uh, throne but of course I could use that use that ship in order to get to the next one and this one actually requires quite a lot of now this one actually requires a lot of reflexes and jumping and precision platforming in this get in this zone because this is because this has a lot of platforming segments in this zone which is pretty good because I know Ratchet and Clank is a platformer series Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Not more of these assholes again? You gotta be kidding me, Insomniac. You brought these guys back from the dead. Oh, God. Right, let's get rid of these bastards. They don't even belong in this universe. They belong in hell. Yeah. 
you again. Seriously, Mr. S Seriously, Slag, you're beginning to really piss me off. I am not impressed. Is that all you've got? Because I'll show you the true meaning of of, be, of being a pirate. Ratchet is a person who does everything good. You are up to no good yourself. Oh no, Slag's got going back. Now this is gonna be shit. Ooh, now I've got the now I've got the pre to the prayer to launcher. The, no, the Raptor Launcher. Now the Raptor Launcher is mine. So I can absolutely deal a lot of damage to Slag if I don't have any de alpha, dis alpha, alpha cannon shots. Oh, he, oh, this guy again. Might as well bomb this guy to death. Well, at least, uh, at least give credit where it's due for the music by by David Bergeau. At least it was a good way to bow out. Oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last game to feature composer David Bergeau's involvement in the series. Kind of like what Spyro Enter the Dragonfly actually was was um, Stuart was Stuart Copeland's last ever involvement in that series. Give these guys a good old sting. Just need to shoot this out. There we go. Might as well give these guys a bit of a good sting. It's destro it's destroyer at first sting. There we go. Let's swing, swing, swing! Alright, now that I haven't got any fusion bombs, now I have to use the Magma Combuster. You guys, ugh, that was... Ugh. There's Rusty Pete, that little snake, that snake. Rusty Pete, don't even think about shaking me off, you little shit. Well, let's get onto that boat, shall we? Oh, we're back at the same place again. I'm running, Slag. Give me the fulcrum star. <coughs> oh, familiar threats from a tired adversary. Tired adversary, my ass. And for all, the pirate way. By playing dirty. You lit, you son of a bitch. But honestly, this is the last part of the actual. This is it. This is going to be the last part of this one. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is. This is the final phase of the battle, so what we've got to do is to destroy two pirates. In this segment, destroy two pirates and use two use two EMP shots to, to to stop this guy, and then we'll be able to stop Slag. What we need to do is find some green eggs. So it is. Usually they usually the dispense free. There we go. Now I can use the. You, you're my ass. You're not going anywhere with it. This guy and this, and and beware. This guy shoots with precision aiming. You've got to be careful with shots because they are quite quick. He's a not. He's a quick, a quick draw though. Oh, well, once his health gets low enough, he'll go back with that robot, that ghost robot thingy. The ghost robots will be able to... Uh, uh, those shockwaves can hurt, and so does that sword. Fortunately, though, it only does one damage, so at least it isn't too much. Send in more of that crew. All right, let's get the Nano Swarm without start. Let's Combine this, make a good winning combination of the two. Just another tune for you. Stop if you've heard it. No, 
Oh, oh god, now he's, now you're talking. Now you're really, now you're really talking. Now I'll show you. Well, is there any more of that? I think I can see it. Ah, oh, I can see it. No, it's not. Don't you dare lie. Need the upper cannon. Come on, can I do it? Can I do it? Please let this be over. No! That's just effing marvelous, isn't it? All right, now I've finally done it. Ah, third time lucky. And now he's going down. And now it blows up and his head goes down into the water. And then he and then he throws the fork of star to Clank's ratchet's hand and dives in after Slag. Thank you, Rusty Pete. For all that time that you've been a snitchy little weasel, you finally did us all a favor. The Lumbacks destroyed the union between Captain Slag and Dark Fine, Finally, now this is over. Ugh, I can't believe I died when the when Slag was about was defeated as well. Which means I had to restart the whole entire fight all over again. That was annoying. But finally, I managed to end this. Let's hope this works. And it has. Now we can know where Clank is. There he is. With the and with the Zoni as well. Oh, what are you talking about, you little robe tin man? <laughs> oh, and he still has that lovely chuckle as well. And who is this? Wait a minute. It can't be. Could it be? <laughs> it's his. It's Dr. Nefarious from Rustic Like Free. Well, with that being said, it is time to... Now, with that being done, it is the end of the story. And that will be we, of course, get Quark on our side with the next game. I didn't want to hear it the first time, you mangy old bucket of balls. All right, all right. No need to get cross. No need to get cross, my ass. I have been angry with your snitching us, you little rusty shit. Row, row, row. Oh, let me guess. Row? Shut up. Row, row, row. Listen, why don't you listen to Slag for once, Pete? What a love of God. Row, row, row. Now, with that being said, that's the end of Ratchet and Clank's Quest for Booty. For a game that is a very little mini adventure, it does the job well with, with improving the graphical presentation, the animation and synchronization of the voice acting actually does a lot better with the lip syncing. And honestly, to be fairly honest, for a mini adventure, it's done the job pretty well. I wouldn't say it's the best Ratchet and Clank game out there. Oh no, it doesn't even compare to that of Tools of Destruction, it's prequel, or even a crack in time for that matter. Honestly, I would definitely say that some things are better off with, of course, Avengers are a lot longer than that. And I mean it. But with that being said, at least the worst, at least the mini adventure is over, and of course the best one is yet to come in the future series, and I mean it. Honestly, it's been a short while, but to be honest, six parts, 
I did pretty well for this one, despite a few uh, blips in the system. But at least we actually get to see some of the most incredible voice acting in this one. But of course, for, a game, for a mini adventure, I do believe it's done the job well. Like what I said. So, of course, it's leave, this leads me to say this Mitch McKid sign out saying goodnight. Mitch the Desert Kid over Kid actually sign out saying goodnight. Thank you for joining me. Peace out. And I will see you guys uh, for the next time in the Ratchet and Clank universe. It's going to be Ratchet and Clank a cracking time. But, of course, it won't be for a very little while. Because next up on my agenda, I'm going to be doing the Cups of Crash Team Racing. And in the new year, I'm going to start off with, of course, a game, a sequel of a game that I did in the past. Well, so, well, early on this year. So, of course, this the so of course until next time. Sayonara for now.